Welcome to ELX Pro, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the PPC method as well, but especially what I'm teaching you on this Elixir Live View Code, I'm not going to learn in any other places because I'm explaining to you things that didn't change on Phoenix Live View, and this is very important for you to create any app and prevent bugs and scale your app usually using the live view. So let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. I started sharing already. Uh, and now, uh, as you could see, I prepared a couple of things for you. Uh, but before, uh, I would like to share with you the app. So here uh, I have the app. I'm going to just ignore a couple of things here because I'm going to explain to you now. So what do we have, actually? Uh, we have our page and we have our process. I think I showed you this process ID, but the most important thing about this process is that when you get this process and when you add variables here, don't worry, we're gonna ex I'm going to explain for you uh, the live process, but basically when you have amount, which is the first uh, step in our live view cycle, uh, let's start with assign a new variable here saying that socket um, name Gus. When we do it, let's go back to our page. We got our process. And when we go back here and say PID will be, remember when I told you about, about the PPC, we got the process. And when you have the process, this is related to our live view page. When we have the sys dot uh, get state pid, as you can see, we have the socket, we have our assigns, and we got our name here. At the same time, if we want to add the name here, we can do that easily. And here we have our page, we have our assign. So if we want to add more information such as not only the name. So let me just change here to a new, new way. But imagine that, that, that we have the age now. And what we're going to do is we can easily say age here. And when we do it, uh, and then we go over here and get the process ID. As you can see, we have Gus and we have the age. And the most important is when we say uh, get state, we can say PID process ID, we got our variables here as well, which is nice. But what about if you want to change? Remember that I explained to you the PPC. Actually, what we are seeing is our process, how we can handle with our process. We can have the def handle info where you're going to use the broadcast here, but imagine that we're going to send a message saying uh, that change age, uh, new age. And what we're going to do is only no reply assign socket where our age will be the new age right here. It's OK. Remember. Now, when you see the handle info, it's because we are going to change our page and a process will change our page. In some places, someone will call our process and we're going to change our page. So right here, if we get our process here and say uh, PID right here, as you can see, our age here is 30. Uh, I want to become younger so we can use the sand. So you can study a little bit more. But basically, what we're going to do is send uh, the process. And we can say 
the same pattern matching that we have here, change age, you can say 20. And when we do it and go back here, it's changed the value. So why I'm explaining this step before explaining the live view. If you understand Elixir and if you want to move forward with Elixir and especially live view, if you understand process, our, li our life is going to be much more straightforward to do, to create components, page, broadcast, real-time application. If you don't understand it, and if you don't understand process, I'm going to recommend a video related to process for you. But especially uh, if you don't understand process and don't understand nodes and how you have this communication, uh, you're going to face difficult in a short future. Now we, we understand the process, then we're going to understand the page, and then we're going to understand the components. But let's go back here. I prepare a couple of stuff for you, like the dependencies, the Phoenix, and the application endpoint. Before you have this page, let's start with the basic stuff. We have the mix.exs. We start our application, but to start our application, we have our uh, dependencies. If you take a look on Phoenix uh, Live View, you have this dependency as well. So if you come over here, you'll have the Mix EXS as well. You're going to have the Live View application. So if we go over here and search for uh, this file here in some place, like we have here, it probably is this one. You started a supervisor tree. Uh, we gave the name and we started a lot of stuff here and how it's going to work. And if we go back to our uh, mix EXS, you can walk through this as well. Uh, I'm not going to do it because uh, it takes time, but it's a task for you. For us, the most important is the application. And we have the PPC method endpoint, where in this case, we started the OTP. If you take a look here in our app, in our config folder right here, you will see that we have the endpoint and we have some couple, couple of stuff that we are loading. And the most important here when we go to our endpoint is that we started reloading the cookie. We started creating the socket, so you can take a look how the socket work as well. Uh, we have the changes in the path, so we started the static paths here. So if we come over here in our start, uh, static paths, as you can see, we have the folders called assets, uh, fonts, images, five icons, and other stuffs. You can add this as well and change the stuffs and we get the live reload, uh, we got a lot of things. And finally, we have the router. In our router, we have the PHX Live. But the most important is when you have pages, uh, we always start with the layout, not the layout. Yeah, I think it's layout, a couple of things has changed. After the layout, we go to the root. Root, we have the connection. But when we go to the app, we have the live view pages. Inner content, it's all related to our PPC live, as you can see. And this is the way that basically you create a live view pages. This class was more focused on a uh, process. So when you create the broadcast, basically what you have is a group of feed that are going to send messages. So also, if we come over here and say observer.start, we will have our uh, supervisor tree, or we have a way to monitor our process. We have this process ID. You saw the state. In the past, we could see the state here, but I think it's it was too heavy when I had like pro complex process and a lot of stuff here. But right here, as you can see, we have our state. Components count is zero. I just want to do one more thing before we, we finish, which is uh, let's create a component. We're not going to create a function component. I'm going to create a component here just for testing. So we can say ppc comp.ex def module. 
where we are gonna do is just like use a live component where we have our render um, and what we're gonna do is just hi we're not gonna uh, talk about the components but just start a couple things when you create components uh, you must have just one more thing like image is not working high component so I want to call this component so we can come over here and say something like we're gonna see all this these things here where the module will be this guy and the ID will be pumpkin and let's finish this guy when we come over here we have high component if we search for this guy remember that we have one component now when we come over here and search for the process 10555 if you see in our state we have one component we can have more but this is an example you saw how the state work you saw let me just move my camera to the middle you saw uh the state basically uh live view is a gen server with a state and a state you have the variables components are pieces of the state as well and next class we're going to be talking about the page handle events and the life cycle when you create a live view piece see you in the next class and bye bye